this is all a PVC uh, product which uh, you know doesn't rust or deteriorate. The, the big advantage of it is it has a lot more surface area than uh, what a slotted PVC pipe has so the entrance velocity of the water coming to the filter is a lot slower so it pulls less debris to the filter. The inside of the filter is they got this uh, uh, pipe here with the slots in it and the filter media passes in between these two and this uh, anus area you see here. And this end has a plug in it so you take a uh, another piece of pipe and screw in so it's tight against the plug. This end you see is a check valve that's uh, been assembled to it. You know one of the benefits of the 40G80G we will sell that with a our pre-packed filter media uh, already in the filter and we will sell it with the uh, check valve connected to it. So all you have to do is add the short nipple on the one end and hook up your pump to it. You know, once you take it out of the box and place it in the TR2 filter cradle and you're ready to go. This is an S80 filter cradle used to support the 80 gallon filter or bucket type size filters. Design is for the tray to either be moved at the bottom and put a cement block in for additional weight or move the tray up and set the filter in on top of the tray. That'll keep it eight inches off the bottom of the lake. What we're going to do is hook up the intake pipe for the sprinkler system to the 80 gallon filter. There is already a foot valve inside the 80 gallon filter. We're installing the intake pipe to the 80 gallon filter. Generally double clamp it out in the lake. At this point, we can either put a ratchet strap or a bungee cord depending on wave action, just to kind of keep the filter against one end of the, uh, of the cradle. If we've got a lot of wave action, then we can use T-posts. Diagonally across the unit is best. This is a ram that's also available through Bigfoot. It helps to drive the T-posts in. When you're out there and this post is underwater, if it's difficult to push in, you can use a ram, and that ram will help to slam it down to its final point. Ray's taking out the S80 filter cradle and this concrete block because we've got a soft lake bottom and we need additional weight on the cradle. So we slide the block into the cradle and then we'll walk out the filter. The T-posts are optional. It's all dependent on your wave action. If you've got an incredibly rough lake, uh, weight and T-posts are a good idea. And it can set them with a ram. The ram can also be used to extract the posts as well. It's a TR2 filter cradle by Bigfoot. This TR2 cradle is, is made out of 14 gauge powder coated steel. There's also a heavy duty model and an aluminum model. These will support all of Bigfoot's filters. It will support their 40 gallon filter, their 80 gallon filter, and their well point. The 80 gallon filter would set on top of the large filter bracket and be ratcheted strapped or bungee strapped in. The 40 gallon put on a nipple and it can support the 40 gallon across the top. This sled will keep all the filters off of the lake bottom at a safe distance, preventing the intake of sediment, sand, and unwanted material. These cradle tabs are adjustable from one inch poly up through about two and a half inch PVC. We'll support the check valve in the center so that there's no sway action on the check valve. This TR2 also will accommodate up to four T-posts. Generally only two are used on each end and in diagonal corners. Tray accommodates concrete blocks or bricks or often rocks or boulders will just be set in the tray. There are eight bolts that hold the unit together. It takes a 9 16 wrench and socket. The skis are tipped to provide better uh, stability in wave action. This unit can nearly fall over. It will still right itself. This two inch wall point easily accommodated by the TR2. 
we would attach the check valve to the well screen and clamp down on the intake pipe that protects the check valve and keeps the check valve out of a sway point behind the cradle. I've been in the irrigation business for over 20 years. Most sprinkler systems are not protected. Most systems have various types of filters that will lay out on the lake bottom, bringing in sediment and debris. We use the TR2 and have used the TR2 for over 10 years to lift and support our filters. The TR2 has never failed us, has never left us down. We'll weight it, we'll put the T-posts in it, put the correct filtration on it, and we never have an issue. It's the number one source for protection and insurance that we can provide our lake systems. If you want to protect the pump, the sprinklers, the valves, the entire components of the entire system, every system needs a TR2 filter trailer, period.